This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenome from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Elevate Security. I'm sitting down right now with Robert Fly, who is CEO and co-founder of the company. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I got a lot of great questions here from our tech team, so you ready to get started? Let's go. All right. So first question, can you tell us the founding story of Elevate Security? Sure. So around the 2010 time frame, I had joined Salesforce and uh, taken over the uh, core security team. Okay. And uh, about two weeks in, somebody comes to me and says, hey, we're going to roll out training to the entire company. Okay. And I was like, this is perfect. You know, it's a way for us to engage with employees. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be able to build a rapport. Uh, they will become a huge asset to us. And then I took a look at the training. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. And it was 60 minutes long. It was a video. And at the end of the day, uh, it didn't make any impact at all. No. And when I went back to him and I said, you know what? I'm not interested in doing something like this. I'm more interested in doing something that can A, measure outcomes. Number two, get employees excited and get them to care. And number mm -hmm. three, I wanted to give something that didn't make the employees' eyes bleed. Yeah, fair enough. Absolutely. And then fast forward a little bit, Masha uh, joined Salesforce. We worked together on rolling something out to 26,000 people globally uh, that had actually a measurable and really useful feedback. Um, and from there, uh, you know, we saw things like a reduction in phishing clicks. We saw wow. uh, individuals who um, were much more engaged than they were in the past, everything from uh, engineers uh, fixing security vulnerabilities faster, mm -hmm. uh, but also an increase in reporting of security incidents amongst employees. Nice, okay. And so what would the elevator pitch for Ele or Elevate Security be? Yes, so at the end of the day, we're building a cloud-based platform that mm -hmm. measures, motivates, and educates employees around security behaviors. Uh, Measurement's important because you have to know where you are and where you're starting. Absolutely. Uh, motivation's important because I gotta get people to care. And education's important because uh, I need to give them the information once they care mm -hmm. for them to be able to do something differently. Okay. And so now I know that security awareness trainings have been around for a long time and have seemed to fail if you look at recent breaches. Why do you think traditional awareness trainings don't work? Yeah, if you take a look at the history of this space, yeah. you go back 10 years, a lot of these companies started because there were compliance regulation, regulations that mm -hmm. said, thou must have security awareness training. Mm -hmm. And the outcome of that was a bunch of people running around saying, okay, I gotta meet PCI, gotta meet HIPAA, I gotta meet Sarbanes-Oxley, mm -hmm. and all the different regulations that came out. And then they said, now we need to do this for a thousand different languages. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna push as much of this onto the individual as I possibly can. But they didn't take a step back and say, well, what do we actually want to get out of this? And what they wanted to get out of it at the time mm -hmm. was compliance, because that's what customers were asking for back right. then. What I'm hearing from CISOs and what I wanted when we were rolling this out was I wanted something that was very focused on measuring outcomes. Mm -hmm. I wanted something that would get employees engaged and get them to care. And third, I wanted something that wasn't just a one-size-fits-all yes. uh, for an education. I wanted something that was focused on roles. I wanted something that was focused on the person's ability. Not just start them out at Security 101 every time and yeah. tell them the 7,000 things that they shouldn't do. Okay, fair enough. And so now, what kinds of attacks are you trying to create awareness for, you know, between social engineering, phishing, malware? Yeah. Uh, so we start off, actually, before I answer that question. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that bothers me in this space is the term awareness. Mm. So what does awareness mean to most people? Awareness means right. to most people that they know something. But I can tell my kids a thousand times that they need to clean their room. <laughs> like they are very aware yes. that they need to clean their room, but they're not motivated to do it. That's a good and if point. You, if an employee is not motivated to do something and you're just telling them a laundry list of 60 different things that mm -hmm. they need to do, then they're not gonna change their behavior. Mm. So we need, we need to first off reframe the conversation differently than what we're, what we're doing today. Okay. 
Got it. And so now I know that in a large organization, there's massive variation in technical understanding of security by every employee. How does your product address this since existing security products already suffer from like what you said, the one size fits all solution yeah. or yeah. lack of solution? So again, it's one of those things where you need to take a step back and you need to say, do I care about awareness, yeah. which isn't going to lead to anything but compliance, or do I care about behavior change? And if you care about behavior change and you're actually measuring towards outcomes, mm -hmm. then you're going to be able to consistently improve on what you have. And one of the problems that I see with security practitioners in this space today is that oftentimes they're focusing on things like uh, newsletters, you know, my annual security awareness training, uh, which have no measurable impact. And if I go, if I'm a practitioner, if I go to my chief security officer, or if the chief security officer goes to their CFO mm -hmm. or their CEO and says, I need to invest more in people, yep. and the outcome and the ROIs that you have is that 100% of the people took it, but there's actually no measurable behavior difference, then you're not going to get that investment. No way. So we need to take mm -hmm. a step back and we need to say, what are the key behaviors that we care about? In our case, we're starting with phishing, malware, and passwords. And we need to start measuring those. And we need to see over time, are we actually getting better mm -hmm. or are we actually getting worse? And then we can target campaigns based on that. OK. And so now I want to discuss the measure, motivate, educate cycle of your product in a little more detail. How can you quantitatively measure security awareness per employee and organization wide? Yeah. So there's two ways I look at this. Mm -hmm. Number one is passive. Yeah. And number two is active. If we start with active, uh, there are active testing campaigns that go on today. So if you think about phishing, mm -hmm. we're actively putting our employees in a real world scenario to try to get data sets of whether or not they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Uh, but there actually is a lot of real world information that security teams already have today. Yeah. When I was at Salesforce, we had a tool set of dozens of security technologies. But what we didn't do, or what most companies don't do, is take that information mm -hmm. and try to determine whether or not, because a lot of that information is related to employees and there's people behind all the different alerts that the security Absolutely. tools get, <laughs> can we pull that information back and then start using that to determine whether or not quantitatively is an individual getting better mm. or and is the organization getting better. Okay. And uh, my last question is going to be, are there any last interesting things that you would like to highlight about the product and the company as a whole? Yeah. I think one last thing on the company is that there is going to be a major shift in the industry. Yeah. And what we're seeing is that companies are moving away from awareness mm -hmm. and training and moving towards behavior change. And there's been a ton of uh, studies done in the behavioral science realm around how do we actually get people to do things differently? Yeah. And it certainly is not sitting them down for 60 minutes and getting them to watch a video. I usually know. No. So we need to take a step back, reframe the entirety of how we look at this. Mm -hmm. And if we think about security as in three parts, people, process, and technology, most of our investment today has gone into technology, some in the process, and we've given up on people. Yeah. And we've given up on people because there were no solutions out there that actually addressed uh, measuring outcomes. True. And so we need to take that step back and determine whether or not uh, and actually move forward based on that, based on getting them to care, mm -hmm. giving them the right content at the right time, and measuring those improvements over time based on the campaigns that you're running. Wonderful. Robert, thank you so much for speaking with me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. That's all the time we have for today. So be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.